it's hot. It's like 10 p.m. and my legs are slipping and sliding and slipping together. Europe doesn't have air conditioning. Global warming is getting harder and harder for the flat earthers and the birds don't existers to deny. <laughs> And um, the ice keeps melting, and I'm out here sweating, struggling with back acne, and my face is greasy. On top of all of that, for some f***ing reason, I'm deciding to go to Arizona in the middle of the summer. Now, why would I choose to do that? Especially when Arizona has like 112 degree heat waves, and even the UPS drivers are like collapsing on people's porches. Did you know that UPS drivers don't have air conditioning? But I'm gonna make the best of my situation. Because I am going somewhere that is much hotter than here in the San Francisco Bay Area and much drier, my skincare routine is going to be changing. And I want to share with you what is in my 100 degree weather skincare routine. And if you are struggling with oiliness, with greasiness, with going somewhere that is really, really hot and really, really dry, some of the things that you should know about and you should consider. Or if your skincare routine right now is just not working out for you, maybe one or two of these things will actually be the swaps that you need. And being an acne prone bitch that I am, you know that I've also got some body acne options as well as some acne safe sunscreens, which are so essential. Zitstick is working with us and we're gonna talk about that later, but when it comes to acne and summer sweat and heat, I'm sorry, honey, do you see See my body breakouts right now? Like, this is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is not even a heat flash. This is a news flash that it's fing hot and my skin is fing struggling. So, this is my routine as well as your short list of hot weather skincare staples. I also want to show you what my skin looks like now that I am still in the Bay Area before I go and get super sweltery hot. As you can see, it's a little bit greasy. I have a little bit of sunscreen and vitamin C on my skin right now, but you can see this is what my face be looking like. And here's a picture just to make sure that we have it in HD. Well, let's compare that to the end of the week because I am very excited to mattify this masterpiece. <laughs> First things first, we gotta cleanse. And do I have some cleanses for you, baby? The first one is what I am going to be using. This is the Paula's Choice Oil Reducing Cleanser. It's a light lather to reduce excess oil and balanced skin and removes makeup and impurities. Now, the reason that this is so amazing and such an anomaly is because it's really hard to find oil reducing cleansers that actually remove makeup. A lot of oil reducing cleansers we see are overly stripping, sometimes they're foaming. Because they have oil-less bases, they don't remove makeup up properly. Whereas this actually annihilates the oil from your skin, but it also breaks down makeup because it does have a little bit of sunflower oil in here. Now remember, because of chemistry, like dissolves like, so this doesn't sit on the skin and make it feel greasy. It actually pulls the oil out of the skin or off of the top of the skin, along with the dirt, the makeup, the excess sunscreen, etc., and washes it down the drain so beautifully. We've got some aloe in here, we've got some glycerin, but overall this is very basic. There is no fragrance, there's not a bunch of fancies, and even the price does not break the bank. This is also eight fluid ounces, which is a nice size, and it's in a pretty blue bottle. I absolutely love this, and I am using this as my cleanser that is also going to be removing my makeup. Now, if you did want something else, again, then you could use this for combo to oily skin. If you have really oily skin, use to the people, baby. This glass bottle, this superfood cleanser is lovely, and it is also well-loved. Do you see how it's like gooping out the sides? It's just like, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's excited to be here. It couldn't wait, and it just busted through the door and arrived early, okay? You know, that friend that's always just early to the party. Anyways, this is a good one, but because I will be putting this like in a suitcase, I don't want it to break. And the glass, while it is very, very eco-friendly and sustainable, it's not something that I can carry with me, which is going to be why I am leaving it at home on its shelf, hopefully to not goop all over all of, all of everybody else. Hey, you're getting goop everywhere. You're not going in Paltrow. So while this is my number one choice, I do have an eco-friendly, sustainable glass package that I am taking with me because I could not go without this. This is a face mask from Three Ships, and this is a less expensive cruelty version of the Caudalie one. There's this Caudalie face mask that they're charging like 40 or 50 bucks for. It's like a face grape detox mask, and um, it's blowing up on TikTok because it sucks the oil out of your pores. You know what else does that? At a fraction of the price? With better ingredients that is vegan, cruelty-free, and then a glass and then paper package? 
three ships and it's available at Target. This is the Soothe Rosehip and Vitamin C Clay Mask and this is so amazing. Yes, it sucks the oil right out of your pores. It gives you the same visual that the Caudalie one does, but it's much less expensive. It is made by some badass female engineers from Canada and it is available at Target. And it's literally luxury without the luxury price tag. That is what Three Ships brands themselves as. Now, the difference is that the Caudalie Detox one, you just squeeze it out and apply it. This one, you actually add water to and you do have to be careful because it can be a little bit messy, but this is such a wonderful clay mask and any clay mask, that clay is going to go into the pores, absorb, and hold on to that oil and wash it away. And that helps so much for the super hot, sticky, gross climates. And then the vitamin C in here, brightening, helpful, especially if you got a sunburn or if you're worried about the sun damage, because the closer you get to the equator, the harder the sun hits. And the hotter it is doesn't technically mean the worst sunburn that you're going to get, but the heat does exasperate everything, including inflammation. There are literally three ingredients in here, French pink clay, <laughs> Caudalie, kaolin clay, and rose hip extract. I love this. And if you wanted to actually use this as a cleanser, like if you're not wearing like makeup or trying to remove sunscreen, face masks are basically a pre-cleansing or a cleansing step when you think about it. It's something you put on, leave it on, and then you wash it off. So you could even use this as a cleanser if you really wanted to, and you didn't need to like remove makeup or heavy sunscreen or something. So good, highly recommend it. TikTok dupe right here. And um, this is absolutely coming with me. Now, we normally talk about toners in this step, but we're actually going to leave these to last because of the way that I use these. So please hold. Press one if you remembered to reapply your SPF today. Press two if your skin is dehydrated and thirsty. Press three if you over exfoliated and up your skin barrier. Press four to speak with an operator. Press five to speak with your skincare big sister hotline. Press six if you bought celebrity skincare and now you regret it. Uh, when it comes to treatments, I normally would go for a vitamin C. This right here is the True Skin Vitamin C Facial Serum. It has vitamin E and hyaluronic acid, and this is amazing for acne-prone skin because it does have sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is better for people who are acne-prone and oily-prone. This actually has over 100,000 reviews on Amazon. And first off, like 100,000 people know what vitamin C is? <laughs> I'm just, I am so proud. This is amazing and it's under 20 bucks. You can also get it at Target. The problem is that it's always sold off the shelves at Target whenever I go to look for them. I absolutely love this. It works really, really well, but because of the little glass bottle and because it has hyaluronic acid, I'm not taking it with me. Hyaluronic acid can be used in hot, dry heat, but unfortunately hyaluronic acid, being a humectant, likes to hold on to moisture and lock it in. And if you can't get that from the ambient environment, like a humid tropical place like Florida, Florida or Fiji or Thailand, where is it gonna get that moisture from? inside of your skin. And you don't want that to cause issues. So there is one product I have in here that has a little bit of hyaluronic acid, but with this much in it, this is just staying at home for me. Now what is not is this. This is actually custom blended and they custom blended it for my oily skin and I am obsessed. This is Agency. It's like adult, grown up, professional skincare. This is a dark spot formula. And boy, oh boy, is this amazing. This is again, prescription. So this was prescribed to me by a nurse practitioner who looked at my skin online and assessed my issues. This is like, it's very Curology grown up. It's like Curology for adults. And I absolutely love this formula because it is made for oily skin and the base that they put it in, it's not skin clogging, it's acne safe, it goes on nicely, and then it suspends all of these ingredients without having them get gritty or gross. And my ingredients, of course, are going to be different than anybody else's because it was customized to me, but mine has azelaic acid, kojic acid, resveratrol, EGCG, which is that epigallic hydrogen gallate green tea extract, and it says apply to the face twice daily. And this is a dark spot serum, but I am going to be putting it on on my little burn, which already looks amazing because there's a little bit of discoloration here, but most of the initial healing and the initial like open flesh wounding is gone. Fun times, is if you're allergic to band-aids and latex, don't use a band-aid with latex on a 12 hour trans-Pacific flight, okay? Okay! I also am like a Fitzpatrick type two, so my hyperpigmentation and my skin discoloration is not nearly as bad as what some other people struggle with, but it is an issue for me. And this has been phenomenal. The best thing about this for me is that the formula that it is in, super, super non-oily. It's not mattifying, but it doesn't grease you up and it absorbs into skin and it just has a nice cushiony feel. I just, ugh, I love it. It's like, you know Charmin Ultra? Less is more what you used to love, now you're gonna adore. Charmin Ultra, less is more. You know how 
the toilet paper just looks like a fluffy marshmallow? That is what this feels like on the skin. Like a dry, fluffy marshmallow. I love it. And don't ask me why the toilet paper jingle is stuck in my head. That is like a memory from like fifth grade. But you know what? It's a memory that even today serves me well. The outside of the dark spot toner, which has these antioxidants and these things that are very helpful for discoloration and pigmentation. You know we gotta talk about some beta hydroxy acid. I am an acne prone your acne big sister. And we know that beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid is oil soluble, which makes it perfect for hot, humid weather because it's going to use that oil to get into the skin. Then it's going to help dissolve the oil. Now, I would only recommend this at night. And of course you wanna wear a sunscreen with it because this is an exfoliant. I am also very acne prone, so my skin loves this already. But especially for the hot heat and the 100 degree weather and the climate, this is amazing. And what's even more amazing is when you mix it with this bitch. This is selfless by Hiram. This maracuja and niacinamide moisturizer is perfect for the 100 degree plus weather. So Skincare by Hiram has been around for over a year. And when I first reviewed this, I was brutally honest as always. Tried to make sure that I was looking at things super objectively and I was kind of surprised by this moisturizer because I was like, wow, this like isn't a moisturizer. It's like a very, very lightweight serum-y liquid. And it is, it's like a serum-y liquid. And what is great for 100 degree fucking hot weather? A moisturizer that is a serum-y liquid. This is lightweight. It has niacinamide, which helps to regulate sebum production, AKA oil in the skin. This is so lightweight that it like doesn't feel like a moisturizer, but it gives you the effects of the moisturizer and it is so light that it doesn't hold on to your skin it doesn't suffocate it like saran wrap or anything like that the way that like a really good moisturizer from ceramedics or cerave or biosance would this actually reminds me of a lighter weight more liquidy version of biosance and again because of the ingredients in here it's fucking amazing and it doesn't have hyaluronic acid so it's not drying out the skin from the inside out it just it feels like there's nothing on your skin it has been a year since this has existed and i have given it more time to play around with this layers really, really, really well. Was I harsh on it in the beginning? Absolutely. Am I still harsh on it? F yeah, absolutely. But is there a time and a place for it? Yes. And that time and that place is now here in the 100 degree heat. This is so lightweight. It goes onto the skin more like a serum than a moisturizer, but gives you the effects of a moisturizer. And it plays so well with this. Together, these are a powerhouse for my pores. And just the texture of this doesn't make me feel weighed down. This is absolutely beautiful. And together, they are magnificent. And they play so well under this motherfucking sunscreen. This is the mega shade from Zitstika. And I am not throwing any shade, but I will be sitting in the shade in Arizona. And this right here, is a sunscreen that is made for acne prone skin. And I have even better news because it's normally $40. They literally have 15% off. This is available at Target. This is available at Amazon from an authorized retailer. You can also get it on zitsticka.com. I actually upgraded mine to a subscription because um, I go through this stuff. Look at this. This one is the new bottle. I rubbed everything off of the old one because I use it so much. And this is basically a serum sunscreen. It really helps you get just the right amount too because they give you one of these little goopy droppers. And as you can see, this blends in so flawlessly. It's made for acne prone skin and there are actually ingredients in here that are acne beneficial. And if you are someone who is oily and acne prone and struggling, this is the perfect formula. The other thing that I love about this is that it's not overly mattifying and I don't find it to be overly greasy. Now, I think that this is something that kind of plays better for combo skin. If you are combo dry and oily, if you are super, super, super oily, this still might be a little bit too much dew for you because it gives you kind of like a fresh and healthy glow. This is not something like, you know, Murad that is truly mattifying. This from Murad, if you have super oily skin, is great. Problem is that it's only an SPF 15, which means you have to reapply it so often. And um, this is the oil control mattifier. Again, this one is good, but if you are acne prone, if you are in the hot, hot heat, and you want something super lightweight, the Zitstika is where it's at. And let me just show you these side by side so I can kind of show you what I'm saying. This also kind of goes back to the texture of the skincare by Hiram. Do you see how this Murad one, while it is mattifying, and good, it's a little bit thicker, like it's a little bit more pillowy and it kind of stands up, it has more firmness. Whereas the Zitstika Mega Shade Sunscreen, being a serum sunscreen, is ooh, literally a runaway liquid. This is just so lightweight.
weight on the skin that it feels like you're wearing nothing. And when you layer the Mega Shade sunscreen, which feels like you're wearing nothing, over the Maracuja Niacinamide from Selfless by Hiram, which feels like you're wearing nothing, you don't feel like there's shit balling up on your face or suffocating your pores, which is technically not true because your skin doesn't breathe because, you know, your pores don't have alveolar sacs that, you know, exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. But we're going to leave that for another day because this sunscreen is going in my bag and on my face. This has ceramides in it for skin support. This has green tea in it for an antioxidant boost. This has tea tree for acne, ferulic acid for stability. And yes, this does have some hyaluronic acid, but it's not a ton. And because of the other ingredients in here, like the water, the hyaluronic acid binds to the other ingredients in here, like water, and it actually gives the skin a nice, healthy support system and glow. Whereas if you were to just use like a straight up hyaluronic acid serum, if it's not formulated as well, and if you're going into dry heat, that could totally dehydrate your skin. This is one of the most beautiful sunscreens. It gives me that dewy look without that gross, dewy, goopy feeling. One of the best summer sunscreens, hands down, in addition to being one of the best sunscreens for acne. And hats off to Dr. Murad. Of course, the oil control one is nice, but the SPF 15 in the Arizona heat, in these blistering heat waves out by the equator, it is not going to cut it. I love you, Murad, but the 15, I'll be reapplying every 15 minutes. Whereas this one is an SPF 50, so it actually lasts hours before you have to reapply. Which, fun fact, I actually have a video on how to reapply this sunscreen over makeup so that you are reapplying properly. Um, we have a video on that. So, the clicks. Is it, is it a helicopter annotation link? Is it in the description? Who f***ing knows? Did she remember to update the description? But it is there for you somewhere. In addition to getting that 15% off, there is a code. F*** if I know what it is because how am I supposed to remember this shit? All I know is that that gets you 15% off if you so choose. And again, the reason that that is there is because of how often I talk about all of these products and then Zitstick is like, wow, bitch, you really like us. And I'm like, yes, bitches, I really do. And they're like, hey, because you show us so much support, can we support you and your audience? And I'm like, okay, yes, please. And then that's how we get here. And that's how the code is generated. And then hopefully if you want it, you end up benefiting from it. And if you don't, then that's totally fine. And I commend you for saving your money. As long as you are still SPFing your skin, if there is one skincare product you need, it is SPF and a good cleanser. Everything else doesn't matter as long as you are staying protected from the sun, babies. That is my only condition. My love is unconditional as long as you wear your sunscreen or as long as you effort. Just try. Just, just, just try. <laughs> Post sunscreen, we gotta talk about sprays. Now, could you use these in your toning step? Absolutely. But these sprays, I am actually using last. And the reason why is because when you are in hot, hot heat, it is unbearable especially if it's dry. There is no way for you to cool off, essentially. And think about it. When it's super hot, why do our bodies sweat? Because that perspiration actually coats our skin, and when it evaporates, it actually cools us off. That is literally why we sweat out of our sudorifice glands. Well, if we apply something like a spray that is not like, you know, a heavy, sticky spray, it's not gonna trap the heat in. If we spray a lightweight spray onto the skin, number one, you already know it feels good, but number two, it actually helps with that process of evaporation keeping you cooler and whoo, during these heat waves I absolutely need this. Now, the reason that I'm not using this in my toning step, and I totally can and I totally will, but the reason this is at the end is because I can reapply it throughout the day and just feel cool. And as I was trying to pack for this Arizona excursion, I was trying to figure out exactly which one I wanted to take. And at first, I was considering using this one. It's brand new from Pacifica. This is the Set and Protect. It is a mattifying, sheer, vitamin C and C minerals SPF spray. Now, does that not sound like it would wipe out three? steps from this routine. Absolutely. This sounds brilliant, but for some reason, when I put this on my face, it burns. And I'm like, what the f is going on? I love Pacifica and I want to love this so bad, but for some reason it burns. And I don't know if it's the sunscreen in here or if it's the fragrance in here, because this seems like the perfect product for hot weather, but for some reason is not working out for me. Something else I was also considering is the Murad toner. This is a toner, but I put a little spray bottle on it and I spray this on my body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. But as great of a toner as this is, it does also have fragrance and a little bit of orange in it. And um, for me, citrus can irritate my skin. So especially as I'm going somewhere super hot, especially because I have my dark spot color correcting kind of taken care of over here, I don't feel like this is perfect for me. Now, if you don't have sensitive skin, but you do have dark spots and things like that, that's when you would want to go for this one. But the one that I am going for is this one. It's from Tower 28. It is so basic. It is the SOS, the Save Our Skin, and it is literally 
three ingredients. No alcohol, non-drying, no fragrance, super, super easy. And oh my gosh, it is so cooling on the skin and it is literally made for sunburnt, stressed out, distressed skin. It is hypoallergenic. It has a pH of 4.5, so it actually matches the skin. And again, I can use this as a toner step to help my other products like my serums and my moisturizer penetrate deeper, but I can also spray this over my sunscreen just as a refresher to cool down, to refresh my face, to make it look and feel better than it actually is. This is beautiful, three basic ingredients, absolutely phenomenal, and it is the Eczema Association approved. So if you do have super, super, super sensitive skin, this works, and it just cools you down. Now, for my body, yaddy, 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 you know that I gotta do something about this acne, these breakouts, these shoulder breakouts. Ah, she burn. Yes, I've been putting my agency prescription, especially right here, but babies, this stuff, versed, versed at Target, mm, versed, does not need to be rehearsed to be dispersed from the bottle onto my body. This right here is a spray. It is a super fine mist with salicylic acid and it is so good. This is so easy to literally get your back with. And if you are someone who has a hard time reaching or if you have a hard time, you know, getting those areas, it sprays on, you don't even need to rub it in. And this helps to, again, salicylic acid, use that oil, basically dissolve inside of that oil and help get rid of that oil and get rid of blemishes at the same time. The salicylic acid is at 2%. It also has some tea tree in here, which is also great for acne. Then there's also some licorice, so a little bit of dark spot protection too. And again, it is the Versed Backup Plan Acne Control Body Mist. This is so good. I've had multiple of these. One of them is much more cloudy. I wonder if I can go find my cloudy one. One of them is also half used and like empty, but I still have the bottle because I'm a f***ing hoarder and I hold onto the bottles. But this is coming with me because I am going to spray my body, get this body acne back under control, and I'm gonna cool off while I do it. I also know that I don't speak about lips a ton of the time, but your lips need to be protected from the sun. Yes, you could use sunscreen and put it on your lips, but that's kind of gross, and I will say, you should be using SPF lip stuff every day. I have three SPF lip things that I really like, but um, I don't use them as often as I should. I don't put sunscreen on my lips every day, which, you know, somebody should smack me for. I should go to the mirror and just smack myself. I should just take my little finger and put it in the mirror because baby, maybe you the problem. But she's trying to fix that. She's trying to be better. And I'm trying to test out different SPF lip products. This one's from Kula. This is a tinted SPF 30. It is a 70% organic summer crush tinted mineral lip lux. I like this, but I don't know if I love the color that I got. It's called summer crush and I'll show you what it looks like. It is really pretty. It's a little bit more ashy on my lip tone. And so I don't know if it's my absolute favorite. I love that it's an SPF 30. I will be taking this with me and using this, but I just don't know if it's my favorite yet. And if you have other SPF lip balms that are like SPF 30 plus, I would love to give them a try and try and buy them so that you don't have to. But this, an absolute necessity, trying to protect my lips better and find the right products. So this is going in my 100 degree plus weather because, you know, we gotta stay cool and stay protected and stop the ice capes melting and of course get discounts on our favorite skincare products. I will leave the coupon in the bottom for this as well as all of the links for all of these things. Some of them are affiliate. It always helps the channel if you use them. And if you don't want to, then please go walk your ass into Target, do what you gotta do, pick up what you gotta. But if you want to support, it is always appreciated. As well as Zitstick of partnering with us on this, it is such an honor to be able to work with a brand that I legit love and have spent so much of my own fucking money on for them to say, hey, we want to work with you. We want to give back things to your audience. We want to help people who have acne and do it without the photoshops and the fucking filters. If you look at their Instagram, they actually believe in acne positivity. And I just, I love their formulas. I love what they stand for. I love what they do. And again, not every single product is something that I love. There are some Zitstick of products that I do not like, but this one I love. Even even for $40 at MSRP, I love it. But when it is 15% off, it is even better. So if you want that, it is there for you. If you don't, no harm, no foul. Take what you need and leave the rest for somebody else. It's like a big skincare buffet. Come children, sit around the table. Take seconds if you want. And if you just wanna, you know, wave through the window and say hello, then yes, go on your merry way. Always remember to reapply that SPF, stay hydrated, even if it is Stumptown Oat Chocolate Coffee. Don't drink coffee at 10 p.m. when your legs are sticking together and sliding together because it's like 86 degrees in the house because you don't have air conditioning. And be useful both inside and out. I love you guys and I cannot wait to see you in this next video or at our skincare supper. Gotta love a good skincare supper. Love you guys. Bye.